know I don't do a lot of intros to my videos, but I wanted to let you know for this video that at the end there is some bonus content and my daughter helped me write the song and she helped me perform it. And so um, there is a bonus uh, footage of us playing and singing the song. And so hopefully uh, you want to tune in to the end and watch us be very silly and hopefully you like it. And with saying that, uh, enjoy the video and thank you. Welcome back to Cards and Comics. And today I'm going to be talking about an issue that I think is overlooked in the hobby. And that's the misclassification of cards as either errors or variations. And to help the hobby and to give uh, something that no one wanted, I've created a musical song to help people remember the difference between errors or variations. But first, I'm going to go through kind of the definitions in history. So to start with, if you go to Wikipedia, the, the trusted source of all information, it says, in the trading card collecting hobby, an error card is a card that shows incorrect information or some other unintended flaw. It can contain a mistake such as a misspelling or a photo of someone other than the athlete named on the card, among other things, right? Depending on whether the manufacturer notes the problem while the cards were still being produced, a card may exist in both correct and incorrect versions. Now, if there is no corrected version, the card um, is a base card or a regular card, right? If there the error card is never corrected. It's just the regular card. Um, and it may be labeled as an uncorrected error, but it should have no extra value because it's printed at the same level as all other cards that were printed in the set. Now, some famous uncorrected errors um, were the 57 Aaron, which is a reverse negative. In the same way for the Larry Haney 69, both these are reverse negatives. Um, there's no such thing as a left-handed catcher. But neither, none of these were caught, none of them were corrected, and therefore they're uncorrected errors that don't make the cards worth any more uh, because they're not any more rare. Now, going on to printing variations, and this is where things get a little bit hazy and, and where people get a little more confused on what actually um, is an error or, or a, a printing variation. Um, so... A lot of times cards exist with multiple versions due to how the card was manufactured. Uh, those cards are more are printing variation, but not true errors. Um, to be clear, these cards have no issue or mistake on them. The only difference is how the card is manufactured. So think about cards that have multiple colors or backs or different things, but they were not intended uh, or there was no error intended to be fixed for those cards just somehow through the printing process something happened where there was multiple versions of the card so some common printing variations and manufacturing mistakes are the white versus gray backs and 56 tops you can also include other variations such as the red and black backs of 52 tops you could add the yellow letter and white letter versions in the 58 tops you could add together the 62 top uh, green tent cards. Those are all printing variations because the printer either made a mistake in, in the card stock that they used or just ran out of one and used another or um, just didn't change the color in the, in the ink properly or had the wrong mix and you had different color cards. And that happens. They're not errors. They're just variations. Uh, smaller cut sizes. So in the 1960 tops, there was presentation sets and all those cards were cut smaller because from what I understand, they were printed uh, differently at uh, a different time and they were designed to get out early so they could sell cards to, to retailers. And so they, they made these presentation sets um, using a different process. So therefore they were cut smaller. Now they're not anything different. Uh, there's no errors or just different, uh, different size uh, printing plate damage. This happens a lot. So the, 58 tops Poncho Herrera um, missing part of the A is not a very is not an error. It's just the plate wore out and the A started to be less and less pronounced. In fact, there's some good uh, websites where you can see how people put together this version of the card to see how the A became more missing over time as the card was printed. And so it's not an error. It's just that the printing plate became damaged or worn out. And missing ink or or another issue 
preventing color printing or causing the printing colors to be uh, different. This happens a lot in cards. In fact, this happens so often that it's just, you could almost pull any card uh, made in the, from the 90s to the, to the 50s and you'll find some color variations, um, some um, mixing of color issues on a lot of cards. Printing defects, there's just all kinds of ways you can look at printing and say, well, there's a print dot on this card, not on this card, so that's an error. Well, no, that's just a variation in how the cards are printed. Due to the non-scientific way these cards are made and manufactured, they're not going to all be alike no matter what you try to do because no one cared enough to make the cards perfect. This isn't like made by computers. This wasn't digital. This was people doing things in a factory, and if things weren't perfect, there was some variation, and we see this a lot. So, um, in summary, you know, error cards can only exist if there's a corrected version. So, if there's no such thing as a as a error card if it's just a regular card, right? So, again, the value of the error card or the base card is really tied to if any one of those two cards are rarer than the other. So, if there is actually an error card made, um, it may or may not be more valuable than the actual base card, depending on how much of each was made. So, um, in general, you can't just say because an error card was created that the error card is always more expensive. Sometimes the correction sometimes is, more expen is more expensive. And you'll see that a lot in the Billy Ripken uh, errors where the corrected versions actually are harder to get. Um, again, manufacturing or printing mistakes are not errors, but just variations of the base card. Now, sometimes printer errors or variations, sorry, printing variations, can be quite rare and valuable. But they are not true error cards that the manufacturer had to fix in later printing runs, which is the true definition. Now, I know this is confusing and hard for people to maybe understand because they're so used to seeing certain cards labeled as errors when they're really just variations, or in some cases, just the base card. And so to help with this, I created a song with my daughter and uh, hopefully you like it and hopefully the song makes it clear so here we go you can't have an error card without a corrected version if you never fix the mistake it's just a base card but sometimes companies make mistakes during the printing process Says they forget to add an ink or two or break the printing plate. So now these aren't error cards, but printing variations. Now it's time for me to show you a few of those examples. This is an error card. 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 Because it's a corrected version. Get it? Got it? Good. Thank you.